A lovely morning to everyone. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudze and I'm your instructor for the Red Hat Certified Systems Administrator course. This is module 1.6 of the video course. In this demonstration, I will show you how to create a simple topology inside GNS3. In this demonstration, I'll be using three hosts. The first host will act as a server and running Red Hat 7.0. The second host, which will act as a client, will also be running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0. The third host, that will act as a client, will be running CentOS 7.0. Without wasting time, let's jump in into uh, GNS3 and start configuring. Here in GNS3, um, I just simply have to drag and drop the host. So the first host is the server. The second host is the client. And the third host is the client as well. And the next thing I need to drop in a switch. Okay, here's my switch. Now I need to connect, interconnect these devices. I need to assign the IPs. So let me label the IPs. So that will be, I'll be using the 10 network. So that will be 10. Dot ten, dot ten, dot one will belong to the server right here. The next one will be ten, dot ten, dot ten, dot two. That will belong to the CentOS machine. The next one will be ten, dot ten, dot ten, dot three. That will belong to the rated client over here. And the next thing is to start these devices. So it's right click and start. Right click and start. So I'll start the configurations using, I'll start configuring uh, the CentOS machine. So right click and console. The system is putting. Okay, let me log in as root. Okay, let me assign an IP address. So I'll use the command nm 2 e uh, edit connection, select 8.0, and edit, uh, scroll down, change automatic to manual or static, manual, uh, scroll to show, and scroll down to addresses. Now I can insert my address slash 24. Scroll down. I don't need a gateway because there's no router. Okay. And quit. System CTL. Uh, restart network service. Okay, um, that's a common error. Um, the easiest way to overcome that error is to use nm 2 -E. Go back to nm 2 -E. uh, Scroll down to active, activate a connection. And say deactivate. And activate. 
then quit so if I check my IP address it's uh, zero I do have an IP address so that should be fine can I ping my own IP address uh, let's find out yes I can ping so it means it's working so I can exit from the CentOS machine Okay, before I move on to the next uh, to configure the other machines let me start my switch okay so let me move on to the reddit client and assign an IP address so I just have to double click login Okay, I'm successfully logged in. Let me start the terminal shell. Become root. Okay, let me check my interface cards. So that will be NMCLI uh, device. So I'll be using the interface uh, NS3. So the command is nm 2 uh, Select edit connection and delete that one. So I can delete. Okay, I can add one. Ethernet. The device name is E. N S E N S three. Scroll down, down. Change from automatic to manual. Then scroll to show. Go down to addresses. Change that. Give it an address of 10.10.10.3 on the 24 subnet. Scroll down, we don't need a gateway. Enter and quit. NM2E again. Activate connection. Say deactivate and activate. Quit. Check the IP address. I have an IP address right here. So can I ping the other server? Which is ping uh, 10.10.10.2. Yes, I can ping. So which means I have full connectivity. So I can exit from here. Uh, on the server, let's assign an IP address as well. So I will log in. Okay, once I'm logged in, start the terminal. Become root. Okay, how many network interfaces do I have? Okay, I've got this one ENS3. Therefore, NM2E, edit connection, NS3, so that's fine. Go down to edit. Scroll down, change from automatic to manual, scroll to show, scroll down to address, we'll give it a dot one address on the dot four subnet, we don't need a gateway, scroll down and then quit. Once you restart the interface card, then check for the IP, so that will be IP address, so 
from this point of time we have an IP of 10 to 10 to 10 to 1. Now can I ping other hosts? So let's try to do that. Yes, I can ping. Can I ping the dot 3? Yes, I can ping. So in other words, I have full connectivity on all three uh, machines. So on this machine, I'll try to configure the YAM repository. So this server is, 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 will become the YAM uh, server or the YAM repository. So this client and that client will request resources from that server. So let's start with the CentOS machine. So in the CentOS machine, um, I do if I do yam repo list. Okay, so I have a lot of errors because a uh, CentOS machine has pre-configured yam repositories. So since I'm not connected to the internet. These servers are unreachable. That is why it's failing to connect. So I have to remove pre-configured um, uh, YAM. So CD etc YAM dot repository and check what is inside. So I have to delete everything. So that will be remove everything and I'll say yes, 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 okay, clear the screen and everything is removed so I can create a new, so the new one I'll call it a test, that will be test.repo. Okay, that will be vi test dot repo. Okay, insert. Um, that will be test human readable. Its name equals test. The base URL will be uh, HTTP, the IP address of the server, and the directory where it's found. GPG check, GPG check equals to zero. Enable equals to one. Okay, now I can save and exit. Okay, clear the screen. Yam repo, yam clean all first of all. Yam clean all. Okay, now I can do yam repo list. My repo is working as you can see here. So it's working perfect. So I can exit from here, go to the next client, this machine here. So before I start configuring, um, let's see if there were previous configurations of YAM. So I can do the command YAM repo list. Okay, there's nothing check the contents of the configuration directory that will be etc yam dot repository and there's nothing so we can start configuring that will be vim etc yam dot repository etc yam repository and let's call this one as reddit.repo 
for the change um, so that will be rated name equals my rated repo uh, base URL equals HTTP the name of the remote server that's the IP address of the remote server um, GPG check is equal to 0 for disable and then enable the repo equals 1 ok can exit and save clear the screen yum clean all and yum repo list ok the repository is working as you can see so basically we I have successfully configured a simple topology and this machine here is, work, is acting as a server and these two are acting as clients and I successfully configured the YAM repository as we see in here. So basically this is how it's done and I would like to thank you for watching and I hope this has been informative. Goodbye for now.